Dayton isn't just another sleepy farmer's town in Ohio. It's a very popular city that attracts tourists and visitors from all over. You have our pick of a variety of attractions, museums, performing arts centers, sports venues, parks to explore, and more. As the sixth largest city in Ohio, Dayton will certainly keep you busy for several days trying to see and do everything. So, here's the list of 10 best things to do in Dayton, Ohio. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go! Number 1. National Museum of the U.S. Air Force First opened in 1923, the expansive National Museum of the U.S. Air Force is an all-encompassing center dedicated to the history of military aviation in the United States. Situated on the premises of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, about 6 miles 9 kilometers outside downtown Dayton, the museum is the largest military aviation museum in the world and exhibits about 360 different aircraft and weaponry. The museum has more than 19 acres of combined indoor exhibition space. It attracts well over a million annual visitors, making it undoubtedly one of Ohio's most popular tourist attractions and a must-see attraction when passing through Dayton. Number 2. Dayton Art Institute The Dayton Art Institute is a museum of fine art located in downtown Dayton, Ohio. The museum was founded in 1919, and in 1930 the building it currently resides in was built specifically to house the collection. The museum was modeled after a famous Italian Renaissance structure in Rome, and it features detailed architecture and immaculate grounds. The collection itself is comprised of over 20,000 pieces dating 5,000 years apart. The Institute is home to permanent displays such as 17th century Baroque pieces, a variety of Asian works, 18th and 19th century American pieces, and a variety of contemporary art. Number 3. Carillon Historical Park Carillon Historical Park is a 65-acre urban green space that is home to several historic structures and interpretive displays on the history of the city of Dayton and its earliest residents. The park contains a series of educational centers, including the Kettering Family Education Center, the Wright Brother Aviation Center, a center of settlement exhibits, which includes the oldest building in Dayton, a heritage schoolhouse, and a 19th century stone cottage. If you are wondering what to do in Dayton, Ohio with kids, this is a great place to visit. Additionally, a center for invention and industry is on site, and it features locally developed inventions, including the first Frigidaire refrigerator, a 1930s print shop, an automobile electric system, and the Liberty aircraft engine. Number 4. Second Street Market do a little shopping before you leave town with a stop at PNC 2nd Street Market. This is Dayton's oldest and largest public market and is a great spot to check out the local goods. It's enclosed and open all year, so you never have to worry about the weather interfering with your plans. Buy some local produce, cheeses, baked goods, and more to either take home in your suitcase or to enjoy right then and there. Plus, the market hosts various events for the holiday seasons, adding a little something extra to the environment. Number 5. Bunshoff Museum of Discovery The Bunshoff Museum of Discovery is all about technology, natural history, science, and children. Bunshoff Museum is a bit similar to Sunwatch Indian Village. Both places include huge natural history collections and exhibits. There are a variety of daily public educational and fun programs offered here, the exact dates and times of which you can check out on their daily calendar. You can't, of course, miss the exhibits here. There is a huge anthropology section that includes specimens and artifacts from Sunwatch and more, a biology section with insects, plants, and animals, geology, astrology, and the list goes on. The amount of time needed to explore the Bunshoff Museum could range from five hours to a whole day. 
The entrance fee is $15 for adults, $12 for children, and $13 for seniors. Number 6. Schuster Performing Arts Center. Just a short walk from the market, you'll find the excellent Schuster Performing Arts Center, which puts on an array of concerts, ballets, and operas annually. When in town, it's a good idea to check out its packed schedule of events to see if there is a particular play or performance that you're interested in. Opened in 2003, the State of the Art Center and its two theaters exhibit extraordinary architecture. Its gorgeous Winter Garden lobby and fiber optically illuminated domed ceiling are particularly impressive. The elegant auditorium also makes for a fine sight with all its seats, boxes, and balconies offering up perfect views of the stage below. Besides enjoying performances by the Dayton Philharmonic Orchestra, Dayton Ballet, and Dayton Opera, you can also watch Broadway shows and music recitals at the atmospheric venue. Number 7. Dayton Dragons Professional Baseball Team Plan a night out with some exciting minor league baseball with the Dayton Dragons. The team is affiliated with the Cincinnati Reds and lights up Day Air Ballpark with games and special entertainment nights at the ballpark. You can feel like a local by joining the fans who fill the stands on summer nights to cheer on the hometown team. Every game has different promotions, from family movie events to yoga in the outfield. If you hit a game, be sure to go hungry, as the concessions at the park are not your typical chicken tenders and hot dogs. You will find an array of traditional ballpark foods, but also hearty pulled chicken sandwiches, as well as gluten-free and vegetarian foods. Number 8. America's Packard Museum America's Packard Museum is home to the largest collection of Packard vehicles and artifacts in the world. While at the museum, you will see a variety of vintage cars that appeal to both car lovers and casual visitors. View unique automobiles such as a 1918 Army truck, a 1928 Jesse Vincent Speedster, and a 1952 Parisian Coupe, as well as a 1948 Hearse and 1903 Grey Wolf Racer. Also on hand are Packard vehicles from the early 1900s, convertibles, and race cars. Moreover, your kids will have the opportunity to sketch their own car designs and shape metal. Number 9. Wagers and Gardens Metro Park. Wagers and Gardens is the ultimate place for you and your family to get closer to nature and some gardening inspiration. Visitors can take the Marie All Nature Trail into the woods to experience the floral diversity of the Stillwater River Corridor. Alternatively, the gardens offer some great programs for children and designated areas like the Children's Discovery Garden. The top activities to do here are walking around and relaxing along with the beautiful sights of the gardens, as well as finding the giant pedestal oak tree in the swamp forest, which is home to fairy shrimp only found in vernal pools. Number 10. Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historical Park. Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historical Park is a historical memorial park commemorating three historically significant American figures and their impact on the Miami Valley. Those three individuals are Orville Wright, Wilbur Wright, and Paul Lawrence Dunbar. The home of the Wright brothers, both born and raised in Dayton, was destroyed in the 1970s, and the last remaining bicycle shop had been moved to Greenfield Village, Michigan for display. As a result, the city decided to construct a park in their honor, and in the process, they also preserved the original home of Ohio-born poet Dunbar, a good friend of the Wright brothers. Today, visitors can tour the park, which includes a visitor center, a museum, and several memorials. Number 11. Sunwatch Indian Village. Sunwatch Indian Village is a great place to visit for anyone who is looking for amazing places to visit in Dayton. First excavated in the 1960s, the reconstructed open-air museum offers a look into the lives of four ancient Native Americans and their 800-year-old village along the Miami River. During your time at the village, you can take a guided tour and see the astronomical alignments that would have been created in the 13th century. Additionally, you will view stockades and mud daub structures. 
Moreover, the site is host to numerous events, has displays of artifacts, and even provides overnight programs. Number 12. The Wright Cycle Company Complex. No visit to Dayton is complete without checking out the Wright Cycle Company Complex. Located just a minute's drive west of downtown, its historic buildings, museum, and visitor center offer interesting insight into the lives and legacy of the famous Flying Brothers. Orville and Wilbur Wright actually started out in the bicycle business before also opening a printing shop, with the profits from both helping fund their aeronautical studies. At the complex, you can explore their former facilities which now display old equipment, artifacts, and exhibits on their achievements. Besides seeing their brand of bicycles and century-old printing presses, you can also peruse all their inventions and aviation experiments. These led to them successfully designing and developing the first aircraft in the world, the Wright Flyer, in 1903. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Dayton, Ohio. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. The city of Cincinnati lies in a beautiful location in a wide basin on the north bank of the Ohio River, surrounded by hills, which is how it became known as the Pearl of the West and the Queen City. Today, this largely industrial city in Ohio has a wide range of cultural and recreational facilities, as well as revived neighborhoods like Over the Rhine and Mount Airy that are expanding the city's social scene. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world, then Tripoyer is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the USA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icons for the latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you.